Hey, thanks for tuning in, Jesse here with Hot All Foils. We're gonna go into this target and do a little hot wheel hunting, a little die cast hunting. over here they're all kind of ding, dinged up but a uh, little carbonator pretty crazy definitely will take the mickey steamboat pretty cool i think that's a new color oh there's the corvette red edition nice 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 i don't know if this has been hit up already but i would imagine not if all this is here but definitely really really sweet there's a gladiator. Definitely take another of the uh, Aston Martin. That's cool. Oh, yes. Aston Martin. Yeah, I don't know if somebody's beat me to it or not. Uh, uh, uh. I think that's the treasure hunt, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, is that not the treasure hunt? Sorry. That's not the treasure hunt. I'm trying to remember what the treasure hunt is. I'll know when I come across it. Might grab that one. Here's one of the newer. It's not a real car, but it still looks pretty cool. So we'll grab it. And um, I'm taking everything, you know. But uh, check it out. I have not seen uh, these anywhere. So yes, I am taking a good bet for myself as well as family who collects. So let's see what we've got here. Just the main line, I believe. Yeah, just the mainline version, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I don't see uh, ID or the super, and I can't for the life of me remember what the treasure hunt is. But uh, we'll keep looking to make sure I'm not passing anything up. But I think that's about it. Um, oh, that's awesome right there. Check that out. Nissan Silvia. Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. Definitely taking that for sure. I've already got a couple of the Subarus. We'll leave that. Definitely will be taking uh, another Plymouth though. That's cool. that for sure check that out uh, yes people are gonna be uh, looking for that and I am one of them so definitely taking that oh yes taking that to you old GTR the 35 I think it is yeah 35 GTRR that is awesome taking that for sure that was pretty banged up so I'm gonna leave that carryover I'll leave a red edition for somebody. I'll leave the rest of the red edition that way. Somebody. Uh, let's see how many Corvettes I have. I might leave a Corvette. But I think that is it, guys. Oh, definitely taking, taking that for sure. Yep, taking that for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, dang. No super or ID car. But uh, a nice score regardless. And again, I'm going to... There's, yeah, there's a Corvette right there, so I'll leave one complete set at least. I think I've got maybe two complete sets. I don't really have that many, guys. I know you think I have a lot, and, and yeah, I am taking it, but don't worry. They'll be restocking. You know, to those who are like, oh, you're taking everything. They will be restocking. It's not like it's, you know, the end of the world. Um, hmm, that's, I think this there is the treasure hunt right there. That's the treasure hunt. Pretty cool. Uh, so I must have... Not hit this uh, one up right here, so let's just go through that. 
Oh uh, yeah. I'll take the Ford GT40. Now that might that one might be a carryover. I don't remember. I'll have to look at it when I get home. But I'll go ahead and take it for sure. For sure. And I'm gonna take another Steamboat Mickey. My wife wants one. So I think that is new as well. Um Of the other new ones, like I might go ahead and take the uh, that one. what's going on then? A few moments later, at a different target. Hey, Jesse here, Hot Off Wheels again. We're at another target. Um, as I told you, as I told you before, another you know, videos and peg hunts. Once you find something dropping, you got to ride that wave, you got to keep hunting until. You know until you're you know satisfied with what you found uh, i'm still looking for the cougar super treasure hunt uh i did find an id at the last uh target i'll show you that towards the end of the video maybe a highlight of some of the nicer uh main lines ids treasure hunts things like that but uh again once you see something dropping you got to keep riding that wave so we're at uh the next target this is i think the third or fourth of the day uh one of the targets didn't have any uh, but most of them are dropping, so we'll see if they have it here. Mm -hmm. All right, here we are. No uh, collectibles, Matchbox collectibles yet. Let's see. So anyway, we've got, uh, got all kinds of different. They did drop L case. Check it out. Definitely check out the truck. For sure, getting another one of that. Ooh, look at there. Right up front. Bam little uh mario kart i think i did pick one up but i might might get another one of that and then if it's been again hit up because it looks like it's been kind of gone through but i'm not really sure to be honest uh finding the treasure hunt right so pretty cool um, some of it's kind of older stuff in the back so i'm just kind of looking through some of the front ones you know um, Porsche right up front too, dang. All right, I'm sorry, the Mercedes. Not the Porsche, but the Mercedes. Uh, there's the ID version, uh, or the main line, I'm sorry, of the ID version. Um, uh, let's see here, some of the newer ones. Ooh, ID, bang, right there. There's the ID. There's your main line, there's your ID. Yeah, sweet. Some nice one right there. Check that out. That's cool. Let's see what else we got. Let me see. Is that the, is that the uh, main line or this? No, that's. Check it out. That is the super. That is the super hunt. We've been I've been looking for that one. Uh, it almost looks. The main lines are hard to tell apart from this one. I mean, I don't know. I'll have to see if I can find a main line to compare it, or I'll do it later after the video, but or after the store the hunt. But check it out. It's a super. Uh, that is insane. We're, we're going to keep going and see what else we can find. I'll let you know in a minute. Thanks for tuning in. All right, well, we are back at the good old home front. Um, if I can uh, wave off the mosquitoes long enough, we'll do a quick little uh, highlight of just our pack hunt climb from both targets. The first target uh, where, you know, of course I... Um, you know, was oblivious to the treasure in front of me. Uh, that one actually came across another little dump bin on, on the shelf on end cap and uh, came across a couple more finds there. I'll, I'll show you those here in just a second. But we'll go ahead and uh, I guess we'll go left to, to right. Um, so starting out, these are these are the only two uh, fantasy cars I'm going to show you in the highlight. And the reason being is I feel like a, a lot of collectors might even be picking these up, even if you're not a necessarily a uh, fantasy car person uh, just for the pop culture or nostalgia or whatever if you grew up with Mickey or it's me and Mario a little Mario Kart uh, for me those were pretty cool my wife of course loves a little Mickey uh, steamboat Disney steamboat pretty cool uh, so those are just two of the fantasy and the rest of them are you know real production cars um, and then of course you've got the recolor of the 4GT uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna 
spend too much time or detail on any of them. I'm gonna try to keep it somewhat short, uh, even though the video is probably gonna be at least 15 to 20 minutes long at this point. Uh, dun -dun. Aston Martin 177, really nice. Feel free to drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about the, you know, peg hunts or you know any of the castings you you you, know, you saw on the peg hunt or you know that I'm showing you now. Again, these are just some of the highlights that I thought were worth uh, you know coming back to. Um, maybe a little Roadrunner. Uh, of course, this is one of my favorite takeaways from the L case. Uh, of course, there's your letter code on the back right there. You see that little L right there. That's your L for L case. And of course, if it was international cases, like you find at some grocery stores or other places, it won't give you the letter code on the back, the letter case, unfortunately on the international ones. But these are US cases generally at uh, Target's. So if you're shopping at Target, you should be able to see the letter code on the back. Uh, again, all of them should have it. And you get the letter L right there on the end. And that's what you're looking for. Um, <laughs> I think some new colors on the Toyota Land Cruiser. Go away, Mosquito. Definitely a nice one right here. I like this one a lot. Uh, that, that color combination with the white wheels uh, really makes it stand out. Uh, I just like that one a lot. Uh, a little recolor, I think, of the Nissan Silvia. Sweet. And then, of course, uh, another color of the uh, Honda CRX. For those who are into, you know, little imports, tuners, or whatever you want to call them. There's, of course, the treasure hunt that was right in front of me, uh, most of the first peg hunts. Pretty little decent uh, treasure hunt, you know. Uh, I'm not a big, like, fantasy treasure hunt collector, but uh, I did pick up two of those, and that'll probably be all I'll get. And I'll probably end up leaving all, all the rest of them I find in future peg hunts behind. And, of course, your Target Red Editions can't miss out on those. Um, generally, um, you know, if you find these in store, I would, you know, if you like them, I would recommend you getting uh what you want of them because they're again they're hard to come by generally uh targets will drop maybe one or two waves or like you know a few cases and then after that you won't see them again uh so again you know if you find these in store and you're you know if it's something that interests you then i would recommend you know again getting whatever you know you want out of it you know two or three sets or whatever you're looking to collect of it and of course your super in your main line Main line, of course, is in my left hand here. The Super is in the right. And uh, basically, the Super Treasure Hunt, for any new collectors maybe uh, just tuning in, uh, Super Treasure Hunt is, or Treasure Hunts are limited edition. They're, go away, Mosquito. Uh, they're a limited run, and uh, they're a little bit harder to come by than your main line. So like all the cars that I've shown you up till now, uh, with the exception of the Treasure Hunt I've uh, just shown you, uh, are main lines. Um, so they're just kind of standard cars. Um, generally, most of them aren't you know that hard to find, um, but your supers are. And of course, like I said, you can see the difference. Generally, there's a little bit more of a drastic difference in paint, uh, but uh, you do have your real uh, rubber tires on there, and uh, usually they'll change up the wheels or you know they'll do something a little bit different on the supers. Um, this one's pretty close to the main line, uh, even color-wise. I mean, it's got a little bit more of a, a shimmer or, or shine to it. Uh, you know that spectra flame I assume it is like most of them uh, But I've seen some of these main lines that are getting pretty close um, I've seen a lot of a lot of differences in the main lines uh, on this super uh, more so than uh, past supers in my opinion But yeah, there they are uh, again. I know we kind of went and already touched base on those but uh Here is your main line of the ID car and we ended up scoring three IDs <laughs> um, I think I, I got one at the, uh, let's see, no, did I get one or two? I can't remember. I think I got um, one at the first Target. Oh, that's right. My wife got one at one Target. Uh, and then, of course, I got one at the first stop, at the first peg hunt. And then, uh, of course, I didn't uh, record that part of it. Uh, again, that was something I didn't, re uh, unfortunately, re record. I was talking to a, another collector in the uh, store at the time and uh, came across it. Um, and, of course... Um, he wasn't interested in the ID at all. I was going to give it to him, you know, but he, he he didn't care about the IDs, which was surprising, but he was only after certain uh, things. But So there it is. There's your, of course, your main line of the ID, and there's your little ID uh, stamp on the bottom. 
for the Hot Wheels ID track, for those who have tracks, or if you're just like me, you just like to collect the IDs, um, then there you go. So those, those are just some of the main lines. Of course, your takeaways are, you know, the biggest one, of course, is the Super. Uh, your Chase ID car is there. You know, your treasure hunt, if you're into that treasure hunt. Uh, but all the main lines are really, really nice. I would encourage you to get out to your target and do a little uh, hunting. And of course, I should have brought this video to you probably a day or two back. Uh, they probably, you know, at least in my area, they've been out for a few days now. So hopefully maybe your area is just now dropping them. So, and if not, uh, maybe you can catch a, another wave of the target red editions if you're after those. And if you don't have a target, well, not to worry. I'm going to try to find some more red editions myself and I'll be doing a little giveaway on the channel at some point in the near future. So stay tuned for that, of course. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the long video. But appreciate you, and uh, I'll catch you all on the next diecast or peg hunt video. I wish you all the best. Get out there, happy hunting, stay safe, take care.